Okay, this is a Year 8 Algebra video and we are using the New Century um, Year 8 textbook and we're doing the Power Plus activity on page 11. Okay, so uh, question 1 is uh, a simplified question. So for a starter, uh, see if you can have a go with these. Pause the video and then we'll do the solution. Okay, hopefully you've done that now. So I'm just going to underline the like terms. That is a like term. That is a like term. This is a like term. And this is a like term. And hopefully you're able to write x squared plus 4y squared. Um, on the second one, uh, we have 3m squared plus 2m squared, which is 5m squared, and then we've got negative 8n squared, negative 4n. Those are not like terms, so simplification is just simply this. Okay, um, on this question, uh, I think it would be helpful to underline the like terms. This is like, this is like, this is like, and this is like. Okay, so uh, let's go and add the like terms. So we've got 2m squared n, subtract m squared n, which is m squared n. And we've got 3m n squared minus m n squared, which is 2m n squared. Okay, and the last one, I think it's helpful to underline the like terms. This is like, this is like, this is like, and this is like. Okay, so let's simplify this. So we've got 2ab and we've got a squared b squared minus a squared b squared, which is just zero. Okay, so now you can complete all of question one. So hopefully now you've completed question one, you've paused the video. Uh, let's have a look at question two. Okay, so question two says, find the perimeter and area of the following shapes. Okay, so I'm going to choose a, a triangle, it's going to be a right angle triangle, and I'm going to say that this is A, B, and C, and we need to find the perimeter, which is the total distance around the shape, and the area. Okay, I'm just going to abbreviate that as P plus A. So let's add up the uh, total distance around the shape. That's going to be A plus B plus C. And whatever the units are. And then the area, you should all know the area is half times base multiplied by the perpendicular height. So that's half, the base here is B, and the height is A. And if we multiply those together, we get BA all over two. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's give you one to do. Okay, I would like you to find the let's do two N M M plus four and let's do oof, six. Okay, so find the perimeter and area of this shape. I'm just going to pause the video and I want you to find those for me.
Okay, so the perimeter is pretty straightforward. The perimeter is going to be 2n plus m plus 6 plus m plus 4. Okay, we've only got 1n terms, so that's 2n plus 2m plus 10. Okay, the area is a little bit different, a little bit different, and we need to play around with the shape. Okay, so we need to cut the shape in two, and the m plus 4 is this distance here, and we need to find this distance here. Well, that simply is going to be m plus 4 minus m. So this distance here is just going to be m. And then we can find the area. Find the area of this, and th then this, and then add it together. Okay, uh, let's do that. So the area is going to be the square plus the triangle. Okay, the square is going to be 2nm. This multiplied by uh, the top length plus half the base, which is m, multiplied by the, by the height, which is 2n. So let's do that then. We've got 2nm plus half of 2 is 1mn. And you could factorise this to give mn2 plus 1. Okay, I hope you can see that. Okay, so have a go at doing the questions on 2. Do as many as you can. If you can only do a, b and c, uh, that's fine. I'm happy to help you with d, e and f. Okay, so let's look at question three. These are expansions. Okay, so I'm going to choose, um, let's do, let's do a fairly simple one, negative 2a plus 3b plus negative Let's do negative 3 multiplied by 2a plus 4b. Okay, <clears throat> so let's write this down again and deal with the double sign here. So we're going to get negative 2a plus 3b. Um, a positive multiplied by a negative is a negative, so we get negative 3 2a plus 4b. Okay, so we should be able to expand brackets. Uh, you can put in the arrows. So let's do that then. And we multiply in, so we get negative 2a, negative 6b, negative 6a, negative 12b. And we collect like terms. We collect like terms, we're going to get negative 8a, negative 18b. Okay, um, so this is the full expansion. Let's look at another question and see if you can expand this bracket. Let's do negative 2a plus b, negative 3, 2a plus 3b. Pause the video and see if you can expand and simplify this, these brackets. Okay, so hopefully you've done that now. 
do this very quickly, we're going to get negative 2a, negative 2b, negative 6a, negative 9b. We're going to collect like terms. We're going to get negative 8a, negative 11b. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can have a go at question 3. I and J we have done already in class. I'm just going to do one example just to refresh your memories. Okay, let's expand x plus 3 and x plus 4. Okay, so I'm going to draw in the multiplication arrows. And let's expand. I'm going to get x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. We can simplify these to get x squared plus 7x plus 12. Another method to expand this would be to use the grid method. And we're multiplying. We get x and 3 from the first bracket. From the second bracket, we get x and 4. And we are multiplying. So we're going to get x squared, 4x. We're going to get plus 3x. And we're going to get plus 12. OK, so we now add all these together, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to get x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay, so have a go at doing question 3. And Let's have a look at question four. So question four is a substitution question. Uh, let's pick a nice easy one to do. Uh, let's let a is equal to minus one, b is equal to two, and c is equal to three. And evaluate a plus b all over c. Well, we know a is negative 1 from the beginning of the question. We know that b is positive 2 from here. And we need to divide by c, which is 3. Uh, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And we're just left with a third. Okay, so I'm going to give you some questions to do using these expressions. Let's do a b. Let's do a squared b squared. And let's do a squared plus 3b squared all over c squared. Okay, pause the video and see if you can evaluate these expressions. Okay, so hopefully you've done that now. And I'm going to use brackets. So we've got negative 1 multiplied by 2. Negative 1 multiplied by 2 is negative 2. Here we've got a squared, b squared. We know that a is negative 1. We know that b is 2. A negative times a negative is a positive, so we have 1 plus 4, and we, and we get 5. Okay, so we've got a quotient here, which is a posh word for a fraction. Okay, so we know that a is negative 1, we know that b is 2, and we know that c is 3. So let's evaluate this expression. We've got negative 1 multiplied by negative 1, which is 1. We've got 2 squared, which is 4, 
multiplied by 3, which is 12. And then in the denominator, we've got c squared, which is 9. Okay, 12 plus 1 is 13. Divided by 9, it goes in once. And there's 4 over 9 left over. Okay, so hopefully now you can have a go at doing question 4. Okay, so let's move on to question 5. And these are slightly different factorizations. Slightly different factorizations. Um, let's see if we can do... Um, let's do D, C, and something similar to A. I'm going to say A star. I'm not going to do it exactly. I'll do something similar. Okay, so D. Um, let's do something similar. M plus 1 plus 3x m plus 1. Uh, let's do something similar to C. So we got x minus 4x squared plus 3xy. Let's do something similar to A. Got 4ab minus 8a squared b plus b squared. Okay, so hopefully you can recognize on d that this is common. So we can take this out straight away m plus 1. And we are left with x. plus 3x. So now we get m plus 1, all multiplied by 4x. And it's conventional to write this like that. We can check to see if we write by expanding. And let's expand that then. So we've got, let's do this here. We've got xm plus x plus 3xm plus 3x. So that gives us 4xm plus 4x. Let's expand this out. We get 4xm plus 4x. This and this is the same. Hence, our expansion is correct. Okay, you can pause the video and have a go doing C and A. Okay, so hopefully you've done that now and you've recognised that X is common. So we've got 1 minus 4X plus 3Y. And we can expand that out to show that we get the answer. Okay, so common here is B. So we can take a B out to get 4A plus 8A squared plus B. And we can multiply out there to show that that is correct. Okay, um, if you can have a go at doing the rest of, of the questions on five, that would be great. If you can only do A, B and C, that's fine. Okay, so the last set of questions, we refer to these as algebraic fractions. Now, you're right, we haven't looked at algebraic fractions, but I'm just going to give you two examples. If we have a quarter plus a third, we cannot add that and get 1 over 7. 
In order to add this fraction, we need to make sure that the denominators are the same. So we would add this fraction by multiplying numer numerator and denominator by 3 here and by 4 here. And I hope you can recognise that 4 is the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4. To get 3, let's drop that out. To get 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12, which is 7 over 12. The same is true of algebraic fractions. We can only add algebraic fractions if the denominator is the same. For example, if we have m over 10 plus 4m over 10, we can add that to get 5m over 10. We can simplify 5 over 10 as half m. And we don't need to put the 1 there. But it's not wrong to do that. Let's have a look at another example. Let's have a look at 2 over x plus 3x. See if you can pause the video and simplify this algebraic fraction. So hopefully you got 5 over x because 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, so I'm going to give you three questions for you to do, and then I would like you to try question six. A, I would like you to do 4f over 7 plus f over 7. Let's do 6 over m plus 7 over m and let's do 7 over m minus 3 over m okay pause the video and see if you can simplify these algebraic fractions okay i hope you can recognize that the denominators are the same in every question so we can add them and on the last one, you can see a subtraction, but subtraction is just addition of a negative number. Okay, so we add the numerators. 4f plus f is 5f all over 7. There's no simplification there. Um, 6 plus 7 gives 13 over m. And on the last one, we've got 7 subtract 3, which is 4 over M. Now hopefully you can have a go at question 6.